Good morning. It is currently Thursday and we got back from holiday yesterday, Thursday, Tuesday night. Um, and I've not yet unpacked. Um, so I'm grabbing my makeup bag out of my suitcase. I'm just not one of those people that unpacks the second I get through the door. So I've prepped and primed my face. I just thought I would do my makeup on camera this morning. I've just washed blow dried and styled my hair for skincare i've pretty much just been using this for my moisturizer it's the embryolis embryolis cream um i love it it's very um simple basic stripped back very moisturizing um and i put a little dollop of that on the back of my hand that's probably too much a little goes a long way and then i've been really enjoying these this is the drunk elephant um de-bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops and i add like one pump of that into my moisturizer just to give me a little bit of a healthy glow i just mix it all in on my hand So if you've been following me on Instagram, you will have seen that I went away to the south of France with Alfie, Poppy and Sean and we went for my manager and friend's birth uh, birthday, <laughs> wasn't a birthday, wedding day. Um, her and Joel got married and it was the most beautiful day ever. I also bring this down my neck. But can you see how already, how much of a difference that's made? Like, I was pretty much just wearing that on holiday. Um, but yeah, the wedding was beautiful. Um, the south of France is bloody beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'd been to Cannes before with Alfie, but that was for a work thing. And we didn't actually get to explore much of Cannes. Um, or any of the rest of the south coast of France and it's not that far away so yeah it was beautiful a really beautiful day very hot <laughs> south of France was like 34 degrees and I am one of these people that feels an extreme temperature I had a kind of bit of a tough time anxiety wise whilst I was away which hasn't happened in a really long time um I just couldn't relax I would find myself pacing like I just couldn't sit still couldn't relax couldn't sleep properly I have no idea why I feel fine now I'm back here and the flight home was fine but it's just one of those things I think uh really frustrating because I loved where we stayed it was beautiful and we were away for such a lovely occasion and it was kind of my only holiday this year um so yeah that was frustrating maybe that's why like i put too much pressure on it to be like this is your holiday enjoy it and then i was just like oh my god i don't know you never know with these things do you it's just it just happens um just using a little bit of the maybelline instant anti-age eraser obviously had a really lovely time besides the fact that I just didn't feel like I could relax it was still beautiful and it was lovely to go away with Poppy and Sean it's just the way anxiety is sometimes isn't it <laughs> creeps up on you when you least want it to <laughs> see now that's pretty much all I was doing while I was away I'm not using a mirror this is why I'm getting a bit stuck because I'm just using the um camera excuse me while i prop a mirror up here um i am gonna put a little bit of my it cosmetic cc cream on just a tiny bit but yeah i got back instantly felt so much more relaxed um and i really want to go back to the south of france and do like a bit of a road trip around i think it would be so lovely there were so many people that were doing that my friend sam who does my hair her and her fiance um we're also doing that and it just looked incredible so lots of places i want to go back and explore so if any of you have any um south of france recommendations feel free to leave them in the comments 
Okay, so that's just those two products. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of my um, Chanel Soleil de Tan, Soleil de Tan de Chanel Bronze Universal Bronzing Makeup Base. It's like the longest name of a product ever and I call it something different every time. Okay, that's all I was doing on holiday, just that. And in fact, I wasn't using my CC cream, I was using this, um, which is the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur, which is a skin tone optimizer. Um, loved this, it makes your skin look so glowy and healthy. Yeah, loved it, I was wearing that with the concealer and it was glorious. Right, what do I want to do now? See, I just kind of want to leave it like this. <laughs> it's so hard to go from like minimal holiday makeup back into like your yeah, everyday makeup routine. I've sort of forgotten what I used to do. I think I'm going to keep it quite stripped back. I'm going to put a little bit of the um, NARS Wanted eyeshadow on, like a tiny sliver. Guys. I have absolutely loved having long hair so far. I just, I don't think I can go back to short hair now. I love it. The only thing I really need to do is to grow out these bits. These little bits always give the game away. Considering how short my hair was before I put these in, I think it could be a lot worse. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of brow filling in. I um, watched the, I don't know if any of you have been watching the Jade Goody um, documentary, I think it's on channel 4, um, all about her and I think it was like a three part series, I watched the last one last night, oh my god it was so sad, just so many things back then that's like well that wouldn't happen now and that wouldn't happen now and the effect it had on her mental health and it just goes to show you how far um, the internet has gone and like reality TV and reality stars. If Imagine would it have been so different if she had her own platform to share things on? I don't know. Done. That'll do. For mascara I've used the Marc Jacobs. Um, Sorry, Nala's snoring behind me. That's not my ass. The Marc Jacobs Noir Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Still love that. Need to get a new one because I think it's running low. Right, I think I'm going to do big hoops. Big hoops and glasses. And then maybe I'll unpack later when I get home. Done. Here's the little snoring culprit. Should we go to the office? Should we go and see Bear? Come on then. <laughs> Look at my suitcase. I've got <laughs> milk a dime, <laughs> chocolate biscuits, sweet peaches, like, um, what are they called? Like savory, no, not savory. What's the word? when something's really sour and these and then some caramel and biscuit which just looks delicious and some pictures of me and Sam from Maddie and Joel's wedding <laughs> and some BMBNs <laughs> why don't we have these in this country anymore or do we and I just haven't noticed them in the office now and it's the afternoon we've already had lunch I've probably got it around my mouth have I? am I all good? No. I'm not all good. No, I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me and Holly are just going through the P.O. box. There's some very exciting things here. First thing we spotted, which Holly was so excited about, <laughs> she sat here with a blooming <laughs> pair of scissors in her hand, is a lush advent calendar, which looks spectacular. Obviously, I have no idea. Did it come with a... Oh, is it in there? <laughs> little press release. I said Holly could cut because we couldn't open it, but I wanted to be able to film it so that you could see it. Oh, cool. I love That's the colours. Really cool. Wow. This feels so crazy that it's 
August and we have the first like Okay, go on. See see who's the first to notice. We have not put Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone. <laughs> Yeah, you're the one that's gone out and picked up a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, that's seasonally appropriate. The next day, you gave it away. Without, I uh, know you fool me again. Guys, you've just realised two are 500. <gasps> if you want one, I don't think there's many. Also, just received this box from Wild and Wolf. Uh, my name is Georgia and I work at Wild and Wolf. I love your content and thought you would love some of our games from our games brand at Ridley's Games. I hope you and your friends and family get some good games nights out of these because we all love games a lot. Oh my god, is that a pumpkin? Uh huh. <gasps> Shut up. Okay, I very rarely get sent games that I've never seen before or heard of, but this is literally full of games I've never seen these before. These are the Halloween -y things, is it? <gasps> Look, a game called Selfish, Smashing Pumpkins, Peach Snaps. Snaps. Juicy game with fast reactions. I love a fast reaction game. This <gasps> looks cool. Oh, <gasps> 2000s music trivia game. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, make others discard their cards. Oh, this looks good. That's so cool. Think fast. Party game where you know all the answers. I've never seen any of these. This is so fun. Thank you so much. Holly's now asking me some 2000s trivia. Which singer accompanied Alicia Keys on the hit single My Boo? Oh, you'll know this. Oh, I've lost a hoop. <laughs> Which group had a hit in 2005 with Feel Good Inc? Gorillas. Which band was formed in Montreal, Canada in 2001? Oh, blimey, is it not um, multiple choice? Yep. So you're just not giving me the yeah. multiple choice? <laughs> Arcade Fire, OK Go, Sum 41 or Gym Class Heroes. Arcade Fire? Mm. Who had a hit with Chasing Pavements? Adele. Yeah. Who covered Snow Patrol's run in 2008? Leona Lewis. Mm. Kelly Rowland was a member of which band? Um, Destiny's Child. Which song won the Grammy for Record of the Year in 2008? Right, so I was 18. Uh, maybe a Amy Winehouse? Yeah, what song? What was it? What song? Um, Come on. Rehab. Valerie. Rehab. Kitchy, kitchy, yeah, yeah. Kitchy, kitchy, yeah, yeah. Mocha chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be a man about it. You won't die. Eh? Oh my god, I could not work out. I could sing it. What melody you were singing in? Which song features the line? Show me a garden that's burning into life. Oh my god. Oh, I know that. Snow Patrol. What song? Yeah, it's the song everyone loves. If I just I was gonna say chasing pavements. Which year did Kanye West release the album College Dropout? Two thousand and seven. Two thousand and four. Is that right? Yeah. I'm so good because I can put music to my age. That's how I know. And just go with the magic. Baby, <laughs> I can see it there in your eyes. That was best night of my And me. Um, who released Teenage Dirtbag in 2000? Wheatus. Yeah. Who nice said that? Let's live it up. I got my money. Let's live it, it up. Spend it up. Spend it up. Go wild and smash it. Smash it. Like, oh my god. <laughs> in which year did Lady Gaga release her album, The Fame? I'm going to say 2008. Yes. Um, that was fun. Thanks, Holly. Right, back to the PO box. <laughs> I'm going to play, and then if you want to so film, just let me know. And I'll... <laughs> you gave me away. Oh. Has anyone else seen the 
elaborate? Yeah, I love that. Elaborate just terrifies me. Yeah. Yeah. How nice is this? Gymshark have sent. We thought we would send you some pieces to get you ready for week five of Couch to 5K. Keep up the hard work. Have I kept up the hard work? Yeah. I mean, up until I went away. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get back on it, but look how cool. This is really cool. The leggings. And then the little cropped top. I love them. Thank you so much, Gymshark. And then look at these scrunchies. <laughs> They're so cute. I really like the matchy matchy match. Yeah. Oh, I love the length of those ones. This looks exciting. Hourglass, unrestricted brow. I'm not gonna lie, this is the second time we've opened it just because it's so satisfying to open. No. So they have a new micro sculpting arch brow pencil, which looks very exciting. <gasps> oh, look at that. And a really fine pencil. Love that. Thank you very much, Hourglass. Wow. Okay, there's a new, wow, look at the size of them. This is the After Hours and Happy Hour eyeshadow palette. So which one's this? After Hours. Ooh, look at those for it? autumnal colors. <gasps> Guys, this is autumn in a palette right here. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Give us a swap. <gasps> oh, very pigmented. That would look beautiful. I love that green, actually. I love them. I really, really rate Stila eyeshadows. They're very pigmented, very creamy, very easy to blend. Love them. Thank you so much, Stila. <gasps> look at this exciting yellow box. Who could this be from? Megan. What she sent me too. Zoe, hope you love your Lenny and Amy teas. Love, Megan. So Megan has launched t-shirts in her Saturday by Megan Ellaby range. <laughs> That's so cool, I love it. Oh look, it has it on the sleeves. Oh my God, I'm gonna buy it. That is so cute. Oh, really soft. Thank you so much, Megan. Oh my God, so soft. You already looked. <laughs> Oh, I love that. It's really cute for like a beach day. I love that they're a bit cropped. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Megan. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm having like a sort out day today. So I'm not going to bother with makeup and I'm wearing my comfy clothes because I want to just try and sort this room out basically. It's a little bit of a mess and I want to change it up. So the plan is, and I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it, so you know what I'm dealing with and you can see a little before shot. I tend to do this and I'm not too sure why, but I always take over the spare bedroom. This has now become my sorting out which of my clothes I want to take to charity, sorting out which of my clothes I want to give to my mum or any of my friends any new uh, packages, like clothing packages that I've received come in here, sorting out which things to send back that don't fit me. So I've basically been using this as a little bit of like a dumping area for clothes. I've basically been using this as a little bit of a dumping slash sorting area for clothes. And a place where I've been coming in, doing my hair and doing my makeup and then just kind of like leaving it like this. But as I said in one of my previous vlogs, I want to start going back upstairs to do my makeup because the lighting is great and this has just become habit. This isn't because it works better, it's just all my makeup's ended up down here and actually I could be going upstairs. So first things first, here is the room as it stands. Um, I'm also going to be changing out some of these prints, probably change up the bedding. I just want to revamp it and fall back in love with this as a guest bedroom because this is my favourite guest bedroom. But at the moment, when people come and stay, I'm putting them in the other one because I've taken this one over, which it's not fair. <laughs> Let's get all of this out and tidy because I know you guys love a good tidy time lapse because I certainly do, that's for sure. And if you're wondering what I was watching whilst I did that, 
the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. Come on, so some of you may remember that I worked with Desenio last year to completely transform this room and do this gallery wall. Always wanted to have a gallery wall, never thought I could achieve it, but it was actually super easy to do and the prints are amazing quality, I love the frames, I basically love everything about Desenio. So many of you guys also love them, which is amazing. So I'm working with them again today for this video and what I'm going to do is refresh all of these prints. I still love them and I'm still going to keep them because I think it's nice to kind of jig them around a bit and the website has thousands of amazing prints and they get new ones on there really regularly. So I went on, had a little look, picked some new favourite ones. I've picked the correct sizes for where I think I want them to go. I actually used Photoshop, which I think is a great tip if, like me, you can get a little bit bamboozled by sizes and before placing your order wanting to work out in which frame you might want specific pictures because you can drag on Photoshop, you can drag to different sizes. So I actually used a photo of this wall and screenshotted the prints that I really, really loved. A little top tip for you. Um, and I just dragged them on to the photo. I'll insert a little picture here of what it looked like, but I found that so helpful and so quick and I was able to move the images around until I was really happy with them. So if you have Photoshop or you have another kind of editing program on your laptop, uh, it's a really great way of before buying your prints, especially if you're going to do something like a gallery wall where you want to get multiple different sizes but you're not sure which prints in which sizes next to which other prints. Uh, oh. It's a really great way of choosing, which is how I chose the new ones that I am going to be putting in these frames. So as I said, Desenio have so many different prints and people obviously have their preferences or they might have a colour palette that they want to stick to, um, but they get new prints in every month. So it's definitely worth regularly checking. So without further ado, I am going to pop the new prints I have ordered into these frames. I'm really excited. I feel like it's such a nice way to completely like alter a room. Just change the prints out, especially seasonally. Okay, so my prints have come in this, which is super handy because it's proper cardboard and it means they've stayed all nice and flat. So there's a little sneaky peek of the ones I've ordered. Here's the picture that I photoshopped on my computer so that I can reference that back with which frames I want to put each print in. Um, and little tip, if you don't know where you want to store the photos that you had in there before, you could do a little switcheroonie and just keep it behind the new picture in the frame. So once you've put all the new uh, pictures in the frames, I don't know, you might think, actually I kind of preferred the one before, um, and instead of trying to dig them out, you could just be like, ta-da, there it is. So I'm probably going to do that with all of mine. And it also just keeps them flat and secure and you know where they are. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a start. I particularly love this one and this one and this one. I think these ones were all part of the same sort of series that they had and I loved them. So I've gone like one here, one there, one there. I don't really tend to have much of a theme when it comes to choosing prints. I've gone for quite similar colours. Again, I've gone for pink just because I think it looks amazing against the turquoise wall and I've gone for some pops of yellow. Um, pretty similar to the last time because again, I just feel like it looks great on this wall. So like last time, Desenio have very kindly offered you guys 30% off on all their websites using the code Zoella between the 3rd and the 5th of September. That offer does exclude hand-picked or personalised prints, but 30% off 
There are so many to choose from, so do go ahead and have a look, see if there's any that take your fancy, and yeah, make use of the offer because it is a good one. There's also going to be a landing page on the Desenio website which will take you to all of these that I've picked here, so if there's any that you've seen that you want to get your hands on and you want to use the discount code on, then check that out. I will leave a link in the description box to that and all the information for the discount code. And we're also going to be adding to that, so the Zoella team are going to make their picks also, so you can also see who else in the office has picked what. But, to start with, these are the ones that I chose for my spare bedroom, and you can check those out down below. I am going to continue by changing up this bedding, because I don't feel that the orange particularly goes with the new prints now, so... I'm gonna pop some new bedding on here just to really finish it off a bit. And done! This looks so much more fresh. I love the bedding. So this is the same throw. I actually, if you're watching the time lapse and you're like, she took it away and then she brought it back again. I was gonna just have no throw and then I figured it sort of tied it in a bit more so I brought the throw back. And this is from Christy. Um, so are the matching little bolster cushions. This cushion in particular is from HomeSense. The spotty bedding, which I bought very recently, is from Habitat, and it also came with um, two pillowcases, so I actually purchased an extra two, because I always have four um, pillows. But in this instance, I actually put these jersey ones on, which are from Primark. I always put these on guest beds, because Alfie does not like jersey material on his pillowcases, so we can never have them in our bedroom. But, you never know, guests might like them. But I just thought that pink tied everything in. So we've got the pink and the yellow, and the pink and the yellow. Why is changing bedding just one of the worst chores ever? I really don't enjoy it, to be honest. Um, love it when it's done, it's one of those chores that's super satisfying, but not my favorite at the time. Fresh sheets though, fabulous. <laughs> I am probably now gonna finish watching the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special episode and upload my smear test video, which I finally got done. I'm really, really happy about it. It took me so long because there was multiple different camera angles I had to sync up and then turning that into like IGTV form, so having to crop right in uh, clip by clip took me a wee while, <laughs> but I'm really happy it's done and I hope it goes down well. I'm slightly nervous to uh, upload it just because it's the sort of video that you, you don't want people that don't get it to stumble across. I shouldn't be worried about that because actually, to be honest, the more people that see it the better uh, because it is to raise awareness, but at the same time, I'm just a little bit nervous. I've never posted anything like that before. I don't really know how it's gonna go down. I feel kind of vulnerable and very exposed by posting that. It is what it is, and uh, I hope it goes down well, but I don't know yet. So we'll see. I'm gonna go and put that up now. Finish watching Gavin and Stacey Christmas special in August. I'm still on the Gavin and Stacey hype <laughs> um, while I've been uploading everything. But yes, videos are all up, and already so many people are, um, saying they've booked appointments which is incredible so i'm happy and the feedback has already been incredible so thank you so so much to everybody who's been sharing it and showing it some love and also donating to joe's cancer trust thank you thank you thank you somebody <laughs> can you see her somebody wants their dinner Look at your little grey chin! Guys, <laughs> I don't know why she's gone so grey all of a sudden. Keep still! Where are you going? Where are you going? Nala, sit! Sit! Or oh, ignore me. You're gonna sit? Oh, 
Oh, you naughty girl, good girl. Can I see your chin? Look at it. you got grey hairs, lady. <coughs> Look how annoyed she's getting because I'm not giving her her dinner quick enough. Oh, baby. You are such a good girl. Oh, you're going to get dizzy. Oh, you're going to get dizzy. Why are you doing this? Thank you. There's music playing, but I haven't... I think there's music playing in my garden. Is this coming out of the garden? It's the song Only Human. Who sings that? Why is it playing? And Alfie's obviously out and he's put it on. Okay, it's not Alfie. It's just the neighbours. <laughs> I was like, why has he put that on in the garden? That's weird. Oh, that's nice. They must be having like a little, little soiree. Right, Nala really is getting annoyed at me. So, because she's had a funny tummy, we've had her on like a special diet. And usually she has um, dried food, but her dried food, uh, to put it nicely, wasn't coming out the other end in a nice way. <laughs> so she's on this now, which I have to say absolutely stinks. <laughs> And because it's a wet food and she's a pug, so she doesn't have a snout, she basically just sticks her entire face into this. It's made your tummy better, hasn't it? Um, and then we also are slowly introducing some hypoallergenic food, which I know um, is good for her tummy also. So that's what we're doing, aren't we? Very interestingly, she's been on this hypo hypoallergenic food before and it completely got rid of her dog breath <laughs> i have no idea why someone will probably know why but yeah her breath was like um puppy breath which doesn't smell bad just smells like i don't know puppy <laughs> got back from france did i already show you this in a vlog i don't think i did look at my sweet peas holy crap i'm so happy look and they smell so good they're the fragrant ones but there's so many there's more than i can actually pick so i think i might pick some now put them in a little vase inside because they smell so good hello hello you're watching the telly There's the little grey hairs. Good morning, it's Sunday. This top's a bit see-through, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna use the hair as nipple covers. Okay, well, free the nip. Yes, I do have remnants of yesterday's makeup still on, because I didn't take it off. Yesterday was, sorry, I need to be doing Nala's food because she's literally just sat on my feet. Yesterday was, my friend Jenny's hen do. Um, so I went to Oxford, which I've never been to before, but it's such a beautiful city, town. I don't actually know the official. And it was so much fun. And I drove back from Oxford at about 10. So I got back here at about midnight, which is not too bad. But okay but i did that thing where i got in and um i put the tv on and i was really cold so i um got under my blanket and then i just must have fallen asleep because i don't remember <laughs> get out and sim prove i'm still taking this i don't know if i've spoken about it in a vlog actually i think i just put it on my instagram two minutes this is called sim prove I don't remember where I saw, I think I saw somebody on Instagram that was taking it and I was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. It's live bacteria. Um, I bought the mango and passion fruit flavor. It's a 12 week program. I think I'm on week 
10. I think I've got two weeks after this. Um, it comes with a little shot glass and you just do a 70 ml shot every single morning before you've even had a sip of water or any food. It's the first thing that you shot. Um, so chin chin. I mean, I'm gonna touch wood. I've had no colds, no illnesses, like one cold sore and you guys know how much I love a cold sore. Um, and I've definitely been like less bloated. And I mean, it must be because of this, because I've not done anything else different apart from like running, which I haven't done in a while either. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you're interested in something like this, I know lots of people take vitamins or um, probiotics or yogurts or other ways of getting like live bacteria into your gut. To be honest, I don't really know the science. So it's probably better if you search it, but I'm loving it. And I think I'm gonna order some more because now that's part of my daily routine and I've seen really good benefits from it. I don't, I don't really want to stop. Maybe that's the point. My friend made little hen party bags and I've not looked inside it yet. So I'm gonna look inside it. Oh my God, look at the picture. <laughs> that's me. Oh God, I must've been like, 15, that's my friend Emma, that's my friend Beth, and then there's Jenny, the hen. <laughs> I don't really know what we were doing here. I think we were wandering around this tiny village at night because there was nothing else to do and that's just what we did. Oh, I've got a flump. That's exciting, I bloody love a flump. Oh, oh my God, I wish I'd looked at this before I left. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Oh, Alex, I didn't fill this in when I was with you. I took it away. <laughs> advice for the bride. Okay, well, I'm gonna fill this in and then I'll send it to you, Jenny. Not that I have any advice because... Oh, team bride bracelets. Oh my God, how funny. <laughs> She's put paracetamol in there. I love this. A dip dab. Oh, some tea, a caramel and lavender tea. This is such a cute idea. Oh, I should have looked in this before I left. Why didn't I look in this in the morning? Malwam stripes, oh my God, she knows my favorite flavors. Strawberry and apple, some chewing gum, and some love hearts. That is so cute. What a nice idea. I will fill in the advice for the bride. So it says, for what it is worth, my advice is always blank, never blank, sometimes, don't forget to, remember, I wish from Zoe. Today, it is Alfie's dad's birthday. So I think they're coming here, um, what time are they coming here? Um, middle of the day. And then we are going for a roast. Oh my God, I literally look, I can't believe I've started my vlog looking like this. And we need to go and buy like a cake and some little last minute bits and pieces. So that's what we're doing this morning. So I need to go and wash my face and sort myself out. And then we'll head into town. <laughs> so when we were at Oxford yesterday, we did punting um, and we got into a boat and my friend Mouse, he's not actually called Mouse, he's actually called Alex, um, had the stick and he was in charge of like the punting. It's hard. We just basically kept going around in circles. But it was really, really funny. I was like, you know, when you cry so, laugh so much, you start crying and then your stomach hurts. Oh, it was so funny. I've somewhat got ready. I, when we were on holiday, I didn't wear any mascara and now I quite like just not wearing any mascara. That's what I literally said to you that I liked you not wearing mascara. Oh, yeah, look at that. Alfie really likes He's hiding out on a roundabout. Oh. It's not really hiding out. He's <laughs> right there in the middle of the roundabout. Yeah, but, I mean, who's ever popped on a bloody roundabout before? Um, yeah, so I'm kind of loving the no mascara thing. It's like different, isn't it? I forgot more. We don't need a saying. cake anymore. Yeah, we don't need a cake anymore because Amanda's got a cake. So I think we're now just gonna grab some like snacky bits and grab a little bit of like something for breakfast because we've not eaten.
then we'll probably head back. Do you want to get him any balloons or anything? I need to get a latte. A latte? I need an iced hot, iced chocolate. Iced hot chocolate. <laughs> iced hot chocolate. <laughs> um, Alfie always mocks me for how many keys I have. No, it's your key rings. It's like your key chains. No, I have so excessive. I have one key ring. And it's, and it's bigger, than, <laughs> bigger than any key you have. <laughs> no, but I do think the combination of all the keys is what makes this so chunky. If I took that key ring off, I don't think it would make a lot of difference. I have a lot of keys because I need these all the time. Yeah, because you're a janitor in your second job. <laughs> but if you have a lot of keys, how do you make it not look like this? I mean, they're always very easy to find in my bag, but it is ridiculous how many keys I have. That takes up half my handbag. <laughs> but you I never like to set, no. I will never do what I you have do. them all on keychains for certain situations. No, but, but then you'll be like, oh, can you open the gate? Because I forgot my gate fob. Or, oh, no, I can't go into mum and dad's. I don't have their key. Oh, like, why do I want to carry their key with It me? doesn't allow you to be spontaneous to, to separate your keys. And also, then he loses them. So, no, I keep them all together. Separating this is not an option. <laughs> I just wonder if there's another way. Like, maybe I should just have my own handbag for them, like permanently attached to my waist, like a little bum bag. I think you can get a better system than your 18 little ring lock things. There must be like no, a master but ring. If I put them all on one, it's just too, it's too bulky and too yeah, there much. There must be a better way where they can like not go on one, but go on something better. But I just so feel like I need them So you can't go out without all. a handbag? No, but then when do I ever do that anyway? And if nice I do, you've got the keys. That. You've got your weird separated keys, like just one key that you decide to take off and then never put back on. <laughs> How many keys do you reckon you've lost over the years? None. Do we all believe that? No, how many do I actually think I've lost? I don't know. No, because I find them again. I just find them in like, <laughs> yeah, but I find them in the tiny little pocket at the top of your jeans. Losing something like does them. mean you generally find it again. Otherwise that means you've got yeah. rid of. I like to say misplaced. Misplaced. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Just discovered that the shops don't open till 11. <laughs> so we've got like an hour before we can actually do any like last minute Prezi buying and uh, snack buying so we've come into flower pot and we're sat in the little courtyard oh you've got your mini pack of cards alfie's got a posh sausage and egg mcmuffin <laughs> and i've gone for my fave an iced chocolate which is just what it sounds like it is absolutely freezing cold hot chocolate, hot chocolate. is that a wasp Later on, we've been out for a roast. It was delish. We had Nick, Amanda, Poppy, and Sean round. We did cake and we did presents. And now I'm eating some candy floss grapes. And what are you doing? Working on a Sunday. <laughs> Why did you just stare and not say anything? <laughs> You little weirdo. What are you doing? Because you're saying I'm working on a Sunday. Yeah, and you don't have an you're answer for that. You literally are filming right now. I'm filming, but I'm not editing. What, so filming's not part of the job? No. This is where you lay down to vlog and distract me. Mm -hmm. I can just tell your mm -hmm. mood instantly. <laughs> Should we eat grapes together and play cards? <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> yeah, what, you having a bath? I literally only got my laptop out to edit because you were like, I'm going to have a bath. I'm gonna have a bath and then can we eat? If I put my cozies on and play cards and watch a film and eat grapes. Yeah? I do need to edit. I put click on. Click is such a good film. Have you seen it with Adam yeah, Sandler? I've seen it with the remote. Yeah, I love it. Um, it's times like this I kind of wish we had a TV in our bathroom so that I could move oh, like the film hotel, up to yeah i guess i could put it on i don't know is it on netflix maybe i could put my laptop upstairs 
but it's not the same. When something's on TV, it just feels different. <laughs> oh, you need to keep clean your camera lens. Oh, yeah, I feel like you've got that. quite a dirty lens. Don't worry, guys. I'm looking after you. I just want that quality out. Look at that. Fresh. I don't feel fresh. <laughs> I look so tired. Yeah, Sunday. New drop. New YouTube soft drop Sunday, yeah. Seven days. Yeah, Sunday the 8th. Yeah, yeah, okay, glad you put it in your diary. Do you know what All day right. that is? Sunday the 8th? Yeah. What do you mean what day that is? What's happening on that day? Getting your smear results. No. <laughs> you seemed so confident then. No, yeah, no, that's in two weeks. Um, no, that's in 12 weeks. 12 weeks for your results? Yeah. Well, how long's Bloody it been? Hell. I did it on the 9th, so. That's crazy. It's already been like three weeks. That's crazy. 12 weeks? Yeah, in our area. Wow. It's quite long. Um, so what's, what's, what's the 8th? I'm actually meant to know. Yeah. I don't know. Is it in my diary? It's in mine. Joe's birthday? Yeah! <laughs> because? The reason why I know that is because I always think it's the 9th and it's not the 8th. Yeah. Joe's birthday for the 9th. Joe starring in Waitress the Musical is the 9th. Anyway. It is up to me. You're boring me. Editing can, oh, look at them do their Netflix and chilling. Bath time. I'm going to have a bath. I'm going to scrub my face because I just feel like I look. So I need some serious rehydration. One thing I do love is this by Radical Skincare and it's the Express Delivery Enzyme Peel. This stuff is so cool. You literally rub it on your face and all your dead skin just rubs off. Poppy introduced me to that. Um, she did it at hers and was like, I have to watch you do it. I want to see how much comes off. It was so funny. Um, so I'm probably going to do that and then I need like a rehydrating face mask. I don't feel like I keep many face masks in here. I do think I have my vitamin C one. This one. Radiance mask. That's what I need. Face mask spatula. And I'm also going to read my Kindle. I don't know if I've said. Did I say when we were doing the... When I did my mini Kindle review. Currently reading the Michelle Obama book for the Zoella Book Club and I'm only about 50% through and we've only got a week left so I need to get on it and read a lot so I'm gonna do that. Just have a little soak. I haven't had a bath in a really long time I don't think and you know me I love a good bath especially now we're coming into autumn I just love it when it starts getting darker lighter earlier it's cold out and you come in and you go and have a bath and get all cozy. Love it. <laughs> I've just noticed that Alfie decided today to make his side of the bed, but not mine. I mean, if you're gonna halfway bother, why not do... I mean, I never just make my side, I make the whole bed. Why has he only made his side? What the hell? My throw up there. I don't understand that. What a weirdo. Oh, there's my t-shirt. <laughs> I'll remember that next time, Alfie Days.